But we're in the Center for Total Health, and, and that's an interesting name, Total Health. And I think that it's very intentional that we talk about this as a concept, that Total Health is really about the entire uh, series of inputs and impacts on individual patients and individual citizens and their well-being. Physicians are, are growing to embrace the fact that we need to be more than just clinicians. We also need to be activists, and I'm here to lead this panel of some really very uh, great thinkers and, and people that are going to challenge us to think about, uh, in the area of the chronic disease space, how exercise and activity and walking can be relevant. Once every 16 seconds, roughly, on average, there's a person diagnosed with a new case of diabetes in the United States. And why is that important? Well, today, it's only one in 400 of our kids that have uh, teenagers and kids that have diabetes, but that's becoming much more prominent. And if the trend continues with the obesity epidemic, which uh, I believe will be addressed uh, as part of this as well, um, it'll be one in three kids. This is the population where prevention is most significant. Uh, of course, for people with diabetes, moderate exercise fits into uh, an awesome, uh, it's an awesome part of the program for everyone. Now we know that exercise is as effective as psychotherapy. Well, what a blow to people like me. You know, I'm a psychologist. Oh, you mean that's better than examining a person's life and all that? Yes, it's as good as psychotherapy and as good as antidepressant medication. And here's the real trick. As good as psychotherapy and antidepressant together. Mm. Once a person knows a little bit more about their own body, about their brain, they can make use of that information and make their life better. Well, I often educate people about their brains. And I say, for example, if they want a quick and easy you know, medication hit, I say, well, you know what? How you can get norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin lifted immediately is a brisk walk. 90% of all cardiovascular disease is preventable. So if I said, I can guarantee you with 90% of surety that you will never have a heart attack, you'd be listening very closely at that point. You'd want to know exactly <laughs> what I was going to say after that. And all of it is about modifying your risk factors. So if you can control your risk factors for heart disease, that can prevent you from ever having a heart attack or ever having a stroke. All of them are affected by exercise, every single one. So in reference to high blood pressure, exercise makes your blood pressure lower. Not immediately while you're exercising, but afterwards for at least 10 to 12 hours, your blood pressure is lower. If you're exercising on a regular basis, exercise can decrease your numbers by at least five to 10 points and possibly prevent you from ever having to be on medication which is a big thing for my patients. They definitely don't want to be on medications. Cholesterol, another uh, risk factor for heart disease. Your HDL can be increased significantly by regular exercise. And when I say regular exercise, I mean 15 to 20 minutes a day of walking. If we focus as walking as a way to save your life, then we'll get a better response from people and from our patients. How often do you actually think that this is a patient newly diagnosed with something, I'm gonna start with, rep with a, a recommendation around exercise activity. I'm going to start there, even though we're trained, they walk in with hypertension, it's got some serious implications, they're all with diabetes. Do you ever start there and, and see what the, what the trial of exercise is like? I think that that is so critical that that should be something that we're looking at with absolutely everybody, whatever department that they show up in, in our system. So it's not like a, oh, you've got this and then I'm going to try this. Rather, it's something that we all ought to be doing regardless of whether or not we're depressed, anxious, have diabetes or heart disease or, or whatever. It's part of health. You're looking for people to find the individual motivation that's going to create that that light bulb going on in their head saying, hey, you know, I really, I can do this. If you continue to have a conversation and you continue to try and make it a priority, um, then that's when you start to see change and that's what affects change. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thank you. Yeah, that's